works out. I don't think that Rips Pro is, uh, is expecting this, as uh, we may have Doom in a little bit of trouble. Alchemist already charging up a stun. Nightmare is there. Ink Visitor is gonna be in a world of pain soon. Having a shield kind of helps, but it might not be enough against the harassment that comes out on him right now. One more hit needed, and oh, the self and the moving speed is enough, or is it not? Can he charge up another sun? He is already charging up another sun, moving towards the high ground. Zizu coming as well, though, needs to, ch needs to throw it out. Send home in time! No! Not in time! Resolution with the first blood on... Yeah, they don't even necessarily need to kill him, but if they can just push him out of the lane for a while, that can be good enough. Uh, Dragon Tail helping out. G, Test of Fate, doing a lot of damage. Astral Imprisonment comes out. TP is coming in. In comes around. A Light of Heaven with an arrow up on the Chen. Chen will go down, but at least OD went down as well, so it's fair. And they're trying to go for Roshan again. We do have some Chen creeps coming to scout this out, though. But she's will to be in time. It looks like they will be. Sharpie could already walk with an Invisible. Arrow will fly out. And will actually hit up on the Chen, but Dragonite is just sitting here waiting to pick up the Aegis. Let's see if he can. In comes the Doom, also gets Fiend Script instantly. Dragonite with the Aegis. That is gonna be a steal for him. Alchemy is trying to charge up a stun, can just turn around, throw it out on someone, gets it on Ink in, on in Visitor. As we have a leaf that didn't really hit the high ground, and Light of Heaven will pay for that one. Three dead on the side of Virtus Pro, and and looks like Virtus Pro is gonna dodge that next fight altogether. They are actually moving towards the top lane, looking to take down a tier one. Their tier two already picked up, and Aspera, they're not wasting any time. They are gonna try to take down a tier three tower. Yeah, and Aspera don't even necessarily need to commit to this tower uh, if VP do what they're pretty much doing here and allow them to commit. Sure. But uh, they can just sort of lay some damage out here with the Dragon Form and then back off before they lose anything too big. They also still have that uh, Aegis up on Sharpix, so that's why he's positioning himself so aggressively. Yeah, he is <laughs> definitely all in there. Oh, that is the audio inside of Fiend's Grip. He keeps being up though, Hand of God being used, and it's gone like that dies first. His burrow time on cooldown really hurt him there. Sharpix taking a ton of damage, but his Aegis will be popped. We've got G back in this after being doomed earlier on. He is able to kill off Zuzu. Resolution with the last hit, but he takes a Dragon Tail straight to the face, and his Chemical Rage actually being over. He's still charging up a stun, goes for Sharpik, and he can get a kill. Triple kill for Resolution right now. Can they find more? I don't think they can. Go Audio on the run. The Doom is still hanging around there, though. Ink Visitor, it looks like he might be the fourth kill of Virtus Pro in this fight. And that's an Astral Imprisonment. Maybe we're gonna see another kill for Resolution. Let's see if he gets it. Nope. Denied, but Bane takes the kill. Shadow's actually very, very powerful in this situation. If they don't have those sentries to like cover the retreat path ever, it's very possible that VP can just pop the moonlight shadow run in. Oh, Ink Visitor already gets hexed and Fiesker before he can lay down the doom on anybody. Adam God tries to help out. Hello, Sharper. Down goes the Aegis. Down goes Stormfront. Down goes the doom as well. Light of Heaven already leaping himself out. Coming back into the fight to see if he can do something more resolution. We'll take a quick break after being doomed. We'll come right back. At Sharpik though, and of course they have got the gem. Sharpik does not have a BKB, cannot do anything about getting disabled, and will go down. Virtus Pro, three dead on the side of Aspera. I think they could be using that skill in particular a little bit more effectively, and maybe these fights wouldn't be going the way of VP all of a sudden. Now Virtus Pro trying to go for the racks, now getting aggressive from We have Resolution already sitting tight. Dread, ooh, Wing Visitor though. Walking back to base, he cannot die right now, he already bought back, it is Juggernaut that ends up dying, Resolution, he turned on his BKB, trying to chase down some supports right now as Traffic gets himself away, or so he thinks, walks right into the hands of Resolution, ends up going down, two cores dead on the side of Aspera, again, with the buybacks of both of them already on cooldown, because they were already used, now the top lane, it is the target of Virtus Pro, or why even go top lane? Why not just go for the tier four's resolution things? I think this might be GG's a full minute without those cores, and only a visitor left standing. That's gonna be game. Yeah, uh, this was a very swingy momentum game, but uh, VP looks like they're just gonna come out on top here. A visitor is still alive. Uh, that's just gonna be thrown. Yeah, there's the Hex for stuff into safety. Stompa doing big work there. Have the S1 Prism, of course, as well. But the throne will still fall. I would like to say, though, I mean, if you looked at Bet's odds for this game, I believe that was very far in favor of Virtus.